Hi, I'm Inghera Jones at the Urban Craft Center in Santa Monica, California, and I'm here to talk about carving images into candles. Um, I'm going to do a very simple graphic image on mine, um, so this is an easy thing to do at home. I'm going to start with a small taper, but you could do any size as long as you have a dipping pot, pot that's deep enough for your candle. Um, so I'm starting with a small one, it's beeswax, which has a natural um, golden color, and I'm going to dip it into my purple. And so I'm going to dip it a few times, and each time I need to let it solidify enough so that it doesn't wash off in the next dip. So I'm going to let it cool to the point where it's not dripping anymore and it's gone translucent. And I'm going to dip it again. Each time I'm going to dip fairly quickly so it doesn't wash it off, like I said. You can see that one's going to take a little longer to dry. And I'm going to keep dipping until I have a nice layer of color. I don't want it too thick because I don't want to have to carve through a lot of it but three or four dips, maybe five, would be a good amount. Um, if you wanted to get crazy, you could have more than one color melted and ready to go, and you could dip a second color on top of your first, and then you'd have a three color candle that you could um, carve into, and as you carve into it, you're gonna expose the lower levels of, of color. So you can see that it's going translucent, a little drippy on the bottom, which I might just soak off. And I'm gonna do one more dip and let it cool. I don't want it to let it cool enough uh, so much that it cracks when I cut into it, so I want it still to be warm. I'm going to wait until it's um, cool enough to touch without me pulling the wax off with my fingers. So I don't want it to be sticky, I just want it to be um, still warm enough though that when I cut into it it's a nice smooth cut. Uh, the tool I'm going to use today is just an X-Acto knife. You can get special tools for carving. Carving tools meant for polymer clay or wood would work just as well. Um, but I happen to have an X-Acto knife and I don't want to do anything particularly fancy, so this is going to work for me. So my wax is now warm to the touch but cool enough for me to handle. So I'm just going to come along and I'm going to think about what I want to do. I want to do something fairly symmetrical. So I'm going to start by carving long dips into the bottom. Oops. And then maybe start from the top to create a graphic pattern down the sides of my candle. And if it doesn't come out quite the way I want, then I can go in and carve it again. And honestly, if the whole thing doesn't work out, then I can just dip it back in. Maybe let some of the layer that I've already got dipped onto it soak off and try it again. So that's the beginning of my hand carved candle. So I'm Inherit Jones at the Urban Craft Center in Santa Monica, California. Happy crafting! Mm -hmm.